Hi, I'm Derek Herman with Gallagher Products. Uh, we're an animal management company. We provide uh, watering systems, obviously electric fence, which we're going to talk a, lot, a little bit today, as well as weigh scales and uh, EID measuring or uh, identification devices. So this is the S100. S, solar. 100 is a measure of power. This is a one joule unit, self-contained completely. So the idea behind this is it'll actually sit right down on a T-post. You hook it to your fence and it provides up to 30 miles of very clean wire in a typical fence installation setting, more like 10 miles. It's a, a lot of power, completely self-contained, doesn't require a changing of a battery uh, uh, over time. It doesn't require 110 volt power. It just can work out in any sort of remote setting. A uh, couple interesting things about this product. One, it can run up to three weeks without any sunlight at all. Solar technology has gotten much, much better through the years and it continues to improve. And uh, this has smart circuitry built into it that slows down the pulse rate when there is minimal sunshine happening, which conserves the battery, allows the fence to continue to work for a much longer time uh, in low light conditions, um, in shaded sittings, maybe in a, a deep canyon in the mountains, something like that. Uh, another interesting thing about this product, we have two modes. So I just spoke about the, the circuitry of this thing. Uh, uh, conserving battery power so that it can continue to run when it's not recharging itself. It also does that automatically in, at nighttime. The theory being that livestock, most domestic animals, are less active at night. So why not conserve the battery, slow down the, the duration of time between pulses. So normally this pulse is about every one second. When at nighttime or in low light conditions, it'll, start, it'll slow that pulse rate down to about every two seconds. Saves some, saves some energy for the battery. Well, if you have wildlife issues, if you're trying to exclude bears, coyotes, any sort of predators, they're more active at night. So we have a wildlife mode, which is one of the other choices you can make, and that continues that same pulse rate, low light or not. That's so that we can keep uh, uh, large predators or any other sort of a, a, a wildlife exclusion setting out, because once again, wildlife is more active at night. Um, this is actually an ideal unit for parts of the, uh, of the north and the northwest for perimeter bear fencing. So let's say you're doing fly-in fishing in, Can in Alaska or you're camping on uh, doing river runs. This is the perfect unit to set up a small perimeter of some kind of a of temporary wire and, and turn this thing on, set it there, and you've got a bear deterrent perimeter for your location. Once again, it's the S100. Uh, batteries self-included um, and um, uh, can run up to 30 miles of clean fence, maybe 10 miles of typical fence with, with some sort of debris or things like that on it.